Let's get started, Will! We're gonna miss the train! <laughs> This is America's most scenic steam train. I'm Plant Daddy, and I'm traveling by train, and I want to take you with me. On this journey so far, we've taken the California Zephyr. Last week, we took the highest train in America, the Cog Railway, and now we're on the most scenic steam train ride in the country. Welcome to Train Bros. Morning, y'all. We have arrived. We are in Durango, Colorado. I'm with Mike. Yes. We're checking in about the park. Good morning, how are you? So the gentleman said that the train wouldn't be too full. It'd be a laid back day. I like a laid back day. I know Mike like a laid back day. I like day. an adventurous day most of the time, but it's Sunday and I like a laid back day. <laughs> it's a Sunday, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday, sunny Sunday. Sunday. A Sunday. <laughs> We're exploring the Southwestern Colorado area, a corner of the state that feels off the beaten path and it's home to one historic train in particular, the Durango Silverton train. This train ride once linked mining centers to vital trade routes. After the mines dried up, the wild stretches of the river near these remote outposts began to attract rugged outdoorsy types. Whoa, I love that sound. So on the way walking to the train, you're gonna walk through the cute town of Durango, Colorado. It looks very, Western to me, I would say. All right, we're standing in front of the depot. This is where we're going to catch the train. The station was built in 1882 by the Denver and Rio Grande Western Railroad to transport silver and gold from the San Juan Mountains. You're on Yankee Girl. That's a parlor car, so go through the door, turn left. It'll say right on the side of the car. You can feel the steam coming out. It's pretty hot. Woo! I love, I love that sound. You love that sound, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> I think that means we have to board. Let's go find our seats. Let's go. So our train car is the Yankee Girl. Yeah. What's up, Sean? Oh, what's up, guys? How are you feeling, man? Oh, we're going to get crazy today. Oh, we're going to get crazy on the Yankee Girl. <laughs> are, you, are you our attendance? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're going to have fun I with Sean. That's where we're going, what we're doing. So we are going to Cascade Canyon today, guys, okay. and we are going to be having a lot of fun. All right, I'm going to give you all the information on the way down, yeah. all the history of the train, all the history of the different locations and stuff. Excellent. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have a good time. Is man. it uh, there and back or a loop? Or? So it's it's it, we're going there. We're going to be there for about 45 minutes, and yeah. we're going to hang out in Cascade, and then uh, we're going to head back. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Here we go, Mike. Can you take it? <sighs> I'm ready. All right, we're off. We're literally riding through the city of Durango, through the downtown area. This train ride is about two hours and two hours back. The train ride immediately became scenic and peaceful. As we surpassed the Animas River, the San Juan Mountains were in the background. You can even hear the rushing water in the river. I was soaking in all the nature that surrounded me. So Sean is a great host. He's back here making all the special drinks for everybody on board. We're riding in first class. And Sean is making sure he hooks us up. Oh, of course. <laughs> you gotta have the first class experience. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you making right there, Sean? So this is the Bloody Mary. This is how we do it on the train. We can't really mix drinks normally over here, so we just gotta do it like this, you know what I'm saying? There we go. Whatever works. Oh yeah. We got a coffee with sugar. Ooh. And then we got the coffee with Bailey's right here. Oh yeah, oh, yeah it's a party. <laughs> the rust <is> spots. <laughs> All right, I got my coffee. It had a little sugar in it. And one thing about being in first class is that you get complimentary drinks. Coffee, mimosas, tea, soda, whatever you want. What do you think of the train ride so far? I, I think it's great. So the, it rocks back and forth because it's a narrow gauge railway. And so it makes it a real train ride, not a just sit back and watch the scenery. This is it's fun and it's historic. I love it. Top of the ridge. Here soon you're gonna see a lot of uh, just trees that have been that look uh, burnt and just burnt down um, this entire ridge is called missionary ridge 
and uh, it was actually was home of one of the largest fires in Colorado history. The fire happened around 2002. I have brakemen on my train that actually grew up in Durango that watched the fire from Durango. We're at our first well, first and last water tank. Okay, now I have a question for you guys. Pop quiz, are you ready? So, how many gallons do you think, how many gallons of water do we fill our steam engine with at each water stop? 200, much higher. 800. 800, much higher. I say 5,000. 5,000, this is the closest so far, but he's a little high. 5,000? 4,500. 4,500 is the correct answer. 4,500 put into our steam engine as we speak, guys. We should be stopped here for about five minutes and then we will be on our way. Did you get the water from the creek here? Yes, we do. So uh, uh, we have a 7,000 gallon tank that you guys will see on the right hand side right here as soon as we get going. And that tank collects from a natural spring that leads right into this river right here. So that is just all runoff. And you guys will see that, we'll pass, we'll pass right by it. And it's just kind of nestled into the ridge right here, collecting from that spring. Pretty quickly, the views on this train became breathtaking. After taking them all in for a bit, Mike and I decided to make our way to the snack car. You gotta hold your balance on this thing. I'm about to fall, how are you? No, I'm not drunk, it's just a train. It's moving so much. All right, so now we're passing through the concession stand. This is where everybody's getting their snacks at right here. This is the happy place. It smells good. It does smell good in here. Oh, and this is the outdoor car. Now, this is what we're doing. This is what we like right here. This is what we love. <laughs> Outdoors, warm air. Oh yeah. Beautiful, oh, beautiful. Yeah. You can literally awesome. touch the rocks. Should I touch the rock? I'm gonna touch it. I touch the rock. <laughs> I touch the rock. <laughs> You're crazy. Man. Oh, but look at those wow. views. Whoa. This is amazing. You don't get this in the car. Oh, no. Wow, look at this. This gorge right here is beautiful. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Durango. <laughs> We're literally on the edge. We're on the edge. Like, if it was any closer, yeah, we may tip over. Wow. That, oh, that was cool. <laughs> That's where all the crazy women hang out in, at the Crazy Woman Creek. No, we can't leave him! <laughs> so we're switching tracks. We're on this track, and now we're off on this track. I did appreciate the signage and the history that was told by the train attendant. Traveling by train isn't just about getting to a destination. You get to learn things you wouldn't be able to by car or plane. It's like you're rolling through history. So we're inside of the canyon. This is where we're gonna take about a 45 minute pit stop so you can get out and walk around, chill. And then we're gonna hop back on the train and then we're gonna go back to Durango. All right, so you can get off and chill by the river. So if you had a lunch, you can just sit back here and chill for 45 minutes straight. Mike and I didn't bring any lunch aboard. We had more time to be in nature and explore the outside area a bit more. As I walked around outside, I bumped into my people, some fellow Texans. So I'm so happy about this. Got some more Texans in the house. Yeah. From San Antonio, Texas. Yeah. Woo! Are well, y'all having a good time so far? Yes. Got more Texans. Yeah. Woo! Where are you from? Austin. Austin, okay. I'm from Douglasville, Texas, okay. Texarkana area. Yeah. 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 That's, this is a whole Texas family reunion right here. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know I love nature, and since we're on break right now, I decided to check out the river here. Oh, this view is pretty epic. <laughs> wow, that was 
was loud. Whoa! That means it's time to get on board. Let's go! Come on, mate! Right. Let's get started with our real Mr. Train! <laughs> <laughs> Those are our Texas friends right there. Hey, there's other friends. <laughs> Man, he's a train enthusiast. Right. He rides the train every Sunday. Every Sunday. Every Sunday, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just this, this train, yeah. Okay. I live right here in Durango. So, so why, why do you love trains so much? I've been into them since I was really young. Nice. Um, I, I, I tended to stay away from Thomas, but... As you can see, there's different classes on a train. So we're staying in the first class, and then also they have coach as well. So this would actually be the coach area. That's this prospector cart, 6.30. And then we're coming back up to Yankee Girl. All right, I'm back on board. We're heading back. That was a 45 minute pit stop. We're able to see some beautiful views of the mountains, the river, got to explore some of the nature. I love this train so far. And our next stop is Silverton, Colorado. On your way back to Durango, I suggest you switch sides on the train so you can see the views that you didn't get to see on the ride up. Awesome. That's my new friend right here. <laughs> so when you see the cinnamon color of these pine trees, that means they're over 80 years old. Isn't this just amazing? Ah! Whoa, this is amazing. Mike! I'm trying to call Mike's name, but he's not responding. He's literally right there. What'd you think, Mike? I mean, this is spectacular. And Look at this, we're about to see the train come around, the steam train ahead of us. Take a look. We were minutes away from downtown Durango, and I didn't want the train ride to end. I get this feeling every time I hop on the train. I be wanting the train to go on forever. How you doing? Good, how are you? What's your name? <laughs> All right, we've come to a stop. We're back in Durango. It's time to get something to eat. What you think, Mike? I'm hungry, let's do it. Mike hungry too, let's go. All righty, guys. Thanks, Sean. It was a pleasure, man. Later, I'm brother. excited about this. Yes. <laughs> Until next time. Yes, All right, we're back. Everybody getting off the train. I know everybody is hungry right now because I am starving. I've had like two or three mimosas, coffee, apple cider. Now it's time to get some food. We're off to Mesa Verde. Oh, yeah. Food. Yeah. <laughs> hungry. It was great, bro. We have plenty of other good videos until then, and then you'll see yourself. Yeah. Thank y'all. See you later. So good to have people to support us on these trips. Yeah, <laughs> good people all around. Wow, I was not expecting to have as much fun as I did on this train. If y'all are ever in Durango, you need to check this out. There are so many amazing views. It's so cool to ride on a train that's actually powered by steam. The whole experience gives you this amazing feeling of adventure. So I can officially say that this train is Train Bros approved. Be sure to come back next week as I take a train all the way to the Grand Canyon. And yep, yeah, I did cry. <laughs>